We have a surprise inspection from the DVSA. We have free trains booked, but the LA60 bucket has cracks. And I'm in Austria with Palfinger. I'm Daniel Nis Asheville Weekly, episode 85. Doing bits with Palfinger. I've grabbed hold of this ball. It's huge. Oh. Three times in three days, it's gone into limp mode. And it doesn't work at all. No problem. I'm a bit rusty. I won't say I'm looking forward to it. Turn it on, see what happens. I'm trying to read the signs and work out what's going on. Something happened in that hotel. I had some fun with some kit that I've never actually used before. I like it. I saw a little bit of a mess downstairs. Oh yeah, I can see everything. Monday morning, I'm in the yard. My management are here. Uh, we're gonna have a meeting that was meant to start at eight o'clock. Hold on, Terry's calling me. Tessa, is this train still coming? Okay. No way. Uh, I'm going into a meeting with Harry and Ara, so I'll be in it for about two hours, and then I'll call you back. Uh, the train was meant to be here, uh, but there is a network rail possession not far from here, what is stopping the trains from going to Colnebrook and turning around and coming back. Uh, now, we're trying to speak to network rail to get an extension, because while the train isn't here yet, our slot where the train leaves hasn't been changed as of yet. However, it's in Network Rail's best interest if they do give us an extension to offload the train because that train is due to go back to load track ballast to deliver to Network Rail's yard tomorrow. So let's hope we can get an extension. We are gonna continue with the bagging machine today. Bartosz has gone to get a few parts that he needs and then he'll be in the yard. And as I was walking up to my office, I saw a little bit of a mess downstairs and I questioned myself for a minute. Was that a human or was that a cunning fox who entered the yard at night? And I've checked and all the toilets are working. So I'm gonna assume that it was a fox. Otherwise, there'll be a very serious, nobody knows who did it, Dan, going on in this yard. There'll be all sorts of interrogations with light shining in people's faces and people saying they definitely bought the bottle of beer at 10.30. We've had a fuel delivery. Uh, I can see it just arriving now. Lieber in the yard. They're having a look at the 926, but from my understanding, they've just done a regeneration again. I don't think that is gonna solve the problem. Uh, we definitely need to find out what's going on with that machine. That's three times in three days it's gone into limp mode. The gasket is now going onto the loading shovel, so that should be working perfectly. but we have a serious problem with this train because we couldn't extend the time the train is here. But we had a conversation and we need 15 of those wagons to be empty when it leaves here. Uh, so we are working tooth and nail. We've only got two hours and the rest of the wagons are going to be left here for us to offload in our own time. That means that when the next train comes, it will be short by however many wagons we have, because otherwise the train won't fit in the yard without blocking the main line. So it's either we suffer today or suffer on another day. Flow is going ham at the moment, trying to get as many wagons as possible offloaded, and we are running out of time. You look older than me. No, 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 you look older than me. Listen to me now and listen to me really, really, really good. Listening. Yeah, listening. If listening. you think, mm -hmm. by any chance in the world, you are going to put me in a skip, we're going to go out to Seven Seeds, you've got more chance of meeting the Pope on Tottenham High Road. Tottenham's actually a nice area, it's up and coming. I could well meet the Pope on Tottenham High Road. And yes, I do believe, and, and yes, I do believe that I will get you in that skip and we will go out to sea. We, 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 we can head over to Ireland, didn't it, no? No, 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 no. You, like I have just said to you, and obviously your hearing has gone a bit rough. We are not going out to sea in a skip. Why not? 
Because I've heard there's a load of eight mil holes drilled under the bottom of it in the, under the seat. No, mate, don't mm. worry about that. I'm going to come and collect you in a proper scan your skip lorry. I'll put a proper eight yard skip on the back of it, but this one's a boat and we'll go down to the seaside. We'll have a lovely day. We will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Captain Pugwash here is not getting any skip with you. I'm a lot smaller than you, obviously, but obviously the weight of you and me in the skip would probably cause the skip to take on water. You're not a heavy man anyway, so you're, I'm just going to use no, you for I a bit of balance. You could just go to the front of it. Are you seriously going to go across the Atlantic Ocean or for any ocean with that? I'm going to gonna try, yeah. Oh, right. It was nice knowing you. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been like, it's been an honour. Yeah, it's been emotional as well. Yeah, it has, mate. It's, I've enjoyed you immensely in the time that we've known each other. <laughs> you are stone mad. You've got to be. <laughs> Someone said you were going to go raising money and go on the sea with that thing. I'm going to try, man. I'm going to try and cross the channel and raise money for charity in it. Oh, I, I do agree. That's a very good idea. You think that you know this job. Why don't you try to build a skip boat as well, and I will race you across the channel? And my world is on holiday, so I can't uh, can't take that ch challenge on at the minute. So when's he back? I'm hoping he don't come back at all now you've said that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to let me know when you're launching it, yeah? I will do. Go on, mate. I'll speak to you soon. See you later, mate. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Michael O'Donovan thinks I'm mad, wanting to go across the English Channel in my skip boat for charity. I think it's a great idea. What do you think? Tuesday morning, I'm in the yard. At the front of the sweeper here, we have the low pressure bar. Now, the low pressure is the water that acts as dust suppression when you're sweeping. So it wets the road and then you suck it up and it stops the dust coming straight out the back. So by process of elimination, we went over to here to where the valves are. Now, if you take a look in here, and we have pulled this valve out. Now, this is the valve that serves the low pressure at the front. So the valve sits like this and we have this magnetic unit here that sits on top of it. So there's a pipe going to this and the water comes in. Now the magnetic unit sucks up like this and then the water is able to get past. But what's happened is there's little uh, granules of like sand and stuff in the water tank that have got through to this and blocked it. Now there is a filter that stops the larger bits but very small bits have come through. And having a look, it looks like when we actually had this sandblasted, it looks like some of the residue still from that. If you want to see when we sandblasted it, click here to see a video where we restored this sweeper from an old battered one to a brand new one, fully ash filled. So now we've taken this off and giving it a clean uh, we've double checked the o-ring is fine the spring is fine everything is good on here so now we're going to put this back here connect the magnet and then we should have water coming out of the low pressure bar sun shining in the yard today it's a busy day you can see the roll on roll off doing something i believe he's getting ready to go and pick something up we've got a couple of lorries loading in the other yard uh, just had an ad blue delivery and very happy to confirm the KSI YouTube room is starting on Monday. We had a meeting this morning and planned everything we need to have in place uh, to arrive on site Monday morning and then we're going to have a staff meeting there so we can get the job moving. Doing a bit of trial and error with these lifts, trying to get them working. Uh, the first thing we're doing is trying to get the jacks working. So we've given them a bit of oil and I'm happy to say, three of them are working. Now they are tough to move around, but this isn't a great concrete surface. Uh, when we build ourselves a workshop, it needs to be completely flat and completely level. Because even if all of them are working, if it's not flat and it's not level and they don't all work in unison at the same time, the lorry will go over and we don't want that. But we have a problem with this jack. So there seems to be a pin or something missing from it and it doesn't work at all. So we're gonna have to try and find that pin. And this is the main control box here. Now each one has a control box and it plugs into all the other ones and speaks to them. Cause as I said, they all need to work in unison. What we have here is no plug. So we're gonna stop working on the bagging machine for a little while, put a plug on this, turn it on, see what happens, see if we can connect them. And again, like we did with these jacks, it will be fault finding until we get this working. And on the Volvo, uh, we're just putting new rear flashing beacons on this because the old ones got a bit of water in them. They were working, but they were on the way out. So we're just replacing those also, it won't take long. And that's it for today in the yard.
Wednesday morning and I'm in the yard, just finished the Zoom. The train arrived this morning, but it only arrived with 15 wagons because we still had the wagons that were left from last time. You'll see in the middle of the yard, Maddie is washing down the grab lorry. That's because we're going to be filming with that lorry later on. What I cannot tell you about yet, but it is not a standalone video, but you will see it soon enough. On the subject of filming, uh, after that filming, I'm also going to be flying myself. I'm going to Austria uh, to do some work with Palfinger. Uh, Palfinger are the company who have made all the gear on the back of the hook loader, and they also make the cranes that are on the grabs. Really excited about that, but I'm going to be very tired. I'm going to be in Austria for two days, uh, working remotely from my laptop and also doing bits with Palfinger and then I arrive back on Saturday morning and then I need to get into the yard and catch up with any work which I may have missed. So the next few days are going to be very busy. All the plans are in place and we have all the materials to continue with the bagging plant. The 926 seems to be working well at last. I just need to make a couple more calls. There's some haulage what, what needs to be confirmed and the rest of the team should be capable and they will keep me updated. So at the moment, sun is shining, it's a good day. Little problem. After the train was offloaded, uh, Flo started doing his checks around the machine. So we had strengthening pieces put on this a very long time ago in weekly, and now those have started to crack. Luckily, it's been spotted early enough, so we're gonna gouge out all the cracks, and then we're gonna re-weld it and make it strong. Again, fortunately, I bought two buckets when I bought this, so we're gonna swap this over and put the other bucket on now. Initially, when I bought it, it was a massive expense, as you can imagine. Those buckets are around 40 grand each, and I bought another bucket in case when the train was here, there was an emergency, so we could swap it over. So now it comes in handy. You know when someone says that you said you were gonna do something but you don't remember doing it? Well, uh, last year, you remember I went to the celebrity basketball event and this event um, was Tunde's brother, Deu. And Deu called me and said, celebrity basketball's coming up again in August. And he said that I said that I agreed I was gonna play. Now, I remember no such discussion, but I'm a man of my word, but I don't believe that was my word, but he's saying I did say it and I'm taking his word. So apparently, I'm playing in this celebrity basketball game. I have never played a game of basketball in my entire life. You ready, Wilson? That is how it is done. I don't want to become a meme. Like someone dunks on me and I fall on the floor or I get nutmegged or I don't even know what can happen in basketball. But whatever it is that's bad, I can't let it happen to me. So I've decided that I'm gonna put up a basketball net in the yard and I'm gonna practice for this event. I managed to find a black and yellow one because we keep it all Asheville. At the moment, my knowledge of basketball is as far as Michael Jordan is the GOAT and I watch LeBron James and some of the passes he do, does and that Mark Curry can shoot from anywhere. I don't know what I'm gonna do. My management, Ara and Harry, they're basketball fans 
And um, if you remember the video we did the basement salvage project, the guy Meds who did all the renders for that, he is an ex-professional basketball player. So he's gonna come down and coach me as well. So I won't say I'm looking forward to it, but I'm gonna be getting ready for it. Making my way around the M25 in the yard, uh, the LH60 is now operational. Uh, but what we need to do is get it working to see if there's any um, hydraulic leaks on it. So you're not gonna see that from just using it for two or three minutes. So last time we used the 926 and we took the material from the front of the bay and put it to the back to make more room. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the LH60 up on the heap and then we're gonna use the LH60 to move the material to the back to make some space at the front of the bay because there's a train in the morning. Time is 20 past 10, I'm at home in bed. Now normally I wake up early, but tomorrow morning I'm waking up at 3 a.m. Got a cab coming at half three, I need to get all the way to Gatwick Airport. I much rather prefer Heathrow Airport, but all we could get was Gatwick Airport and catch my flight to Austria and then, no, to Munich. I don't even know where I'm going, but I'm gonna end up in Austria. So I'm gonna get some shot eye. It's going to be a long day. What's day? Thursday? Yeah. Thursday morning. And I'm on the road again. You got your passport? I, and I'm on the road again. And I'm soon to be on the plane again. But this time I won't be on the boat again. Running on schedule. Hardly be anyone on the road on the 25. Gatwick bound, Austria bound, let's do this. sat on the plane, it's 6.12, just having a look on the cameras, all the drivers are doing their defect checks on the lorries. Uh, the train will be backing in in about an hour. Let's have a look at that offload. <laughs> under a two hour flight we'll be in Munich and then the car will be there to collect us. Um, it's a race against time. Uh, we need to be at Palfinger for 11 a.m. So let's hope things go our way. It's actually it's the 12 for noon. For 12 o'clock, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So it's a race against time. We need everything to go our way. Things are definitely not going according to plan. So um, they were short of ground staff. Plane wasn't loading in time and now we've missed our takeoff slot so now we're waiting for another one so 707 we are an hour late uh, gave Terry a call and the DVSA have showed up in the yard for a surprise inspection and lorries that were meant to go out and work they've pulled those lorries in and they're checking them over and I assume they'll go checking all our paperwork as well everything's in order but you know who knows 
who knows what they're looking for or what they might find and I'm helpless trapped on a runway not able to take off and I'm gonna miss what I'm meant to be doing I told you I didn't like Gatwick Airport I, ju I just really don't like coming all the way again he throws my airport it's near my work I can stop into work and go here for a I know I shouldn't have come Gatwick man but my legs are all crushed in this seat Ah, oh, she's just, I'm leaning over on. Oh, I'm just sitting there doing nothing, man. Uber and bus. <laughs> right, man, we'll just change that quickly. Nice. <laughs> Successfully landed in Berlin, only an hour late. We made up some time in the air, trying to read the signs and work out what's going on. And we'll speak German. Well, there wouldn't have been a time when we could have gone through this. EU. But Brexit, strange that. We're at terminal, we're at number C, we're at C arrivals. Huh? In the car, on the way to Powerfinger, uh, just had a quick chat with Terry, the DBSA officer. He's still at the yard going through all our paperwork after he checked two of the lorries. But Terry says it's going well, so I'll get a progress report when the DBSA officer has left and Terry's managed to catch up with his work. This could be the life, <laughs> eating on the road. Um, we stopped for fuel and my choices were Burger King or another place which I can't pronounce. But I managed to get some uh, chicken escalope with a little bit of salad and they didn't have potatoes so I got a little bit of fries. So this is what, this is what life would look like eating on the road. Great scenery, a lot of trucks on the road. We're about an hour out from our destination. We are running late. So when I get there, we'll have, have a debriefing and I'm going to jump straight into it. The travel hasn't been ideal. Flight delayed for an hour. Not to mention the anxiety while on the flight that the DVSA are in the yard and I couldn't call or help or do anything. Oh, look at the, look at the lumber being shifted there. Look at that. Ooh. They're definitely busy. Germany so um, but I'm ready for it I'm up for it it's not often I get to travel and do this sort of work and see loads of cool equipment cranes etc and now I know they do boats imagine that talking to Powerfinger I told them obviously I built a boat the other day click here to watch a video where we turned a skip into a boat and I had a look at their boats online and they are somewhat better than the boat I built when I get there strong black coffee straight away and I'm ready to go Hi, I'm Daniel from Asheville. I'm with Powerfinger in Austria. As a long-standing customer, I've been invited down to take a look at new equipment, the latest innovation, and grill some of the experts. Oh yeah, I can see everything. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> no, it's, uh, no, it's finished. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's just, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just the way it is. I like it. Yeah, it's massive. It's huge. Ooh. I see. I tried to practice that myself. See. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. It's yours. 
it's gone seven o'clock. I've just stopped for something to eat. Spent a day with Powerfinger filming. I had some fun with some kit that I've never actually used before, and I've seen a lot of technological advances. I'm happy to say that the inspection from the DVSA is now finished. If you look over here, you can see the inspection report. Okay, so we had greens, yes, and we had some satisfactories, and we had one area uh, where they pointed out, they said that we didn't have um, adequate facilities for brake tests, because there are two Volvos, click here to see a video uh, where we customize two Volvo tippers, but we've agreed with the DVSA that we're gonna take them to Volvo in Hayes, and we're gonna do the brake test every six weeks in line with the six weekly inspections. And other than that, it was a satisfactory test. Can you imagine two weeks apart? surprise visit from the environmental agency and then a surprise visit from the DVSA. It doesn't feel very random but um, luckily I've got a good team in place. Terry handled it when I wasn't there and yes we look to be past it. Also today in the rail yard the guys were uh, drilling through the plates and drilling into the concrete so we can finally fix down this bag implant and the electrics also continued. I have to be back on set for 7.30 tomorrow morning. Admiring the view here. I've been up since 3 a.m. But it was a very productive day. And to be honest, I feel blessed. Before I go out to the city, that hotel over there is... What's that hotel from? Is uh, it the film? The movie Night and Day. The movie Night and Day. Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. Something happened in that hotel. I'm led to believe. We're just doing a little bit of sightseeing, trying to walk off the big dinner that I had. Seven thirty a.m. Day two in Austria. I'm back at the Palfinger exhibition. Going to get inside, have a coffee, and have a little debrief, and get started with today. In the yard, uh, Terry's not in. So uh, Thomas and Simon are handling all of the transport. And thankfully we have another large concrete pour on that we can share with you. So I've been filming for two days, it's 30 degrees. I look darker than when I went on full deck for six days. And I'm going to come out in the evening and, you know, uh, soak up the country's vibe. <laughs> it's thunder and lightning, can you imagine? Oh, oh man. And I'm standing in a shop doorway at 10 o'clock at night and there's thunder and lightning outside. <laughs> Oh man. Give me, give me, give me. Well, the rain has slowed down a bit. Uh, we're just at a rooftop bar, and I'm meant to be inside enjoying myself. But I'm looking out here, I see a fortress over here, a parcel over here. Oh, that's stop moving so much, man. <laughs> if I had more time here, I would definitely check everything out. But I'm just going to try to enjoy my evening because I've got a flight early in the morning. I need to be back in the yard ASAP. And I've had a chat with the guys in the yard and I've heard that the LX60 bucket has now moved into the repair base. So I believe we're gonna gouge out and start welding that Monday morning. Uh, Terry wasn't in today, Thomas and Simon. Um, I heard they had a couple of challenges with the concrete that we managed to complete the work. So a good day all round. I'm signing off for tonight. <laughs> Yes, 
Saturday morning. I'm at the airport. Um, about to catch a flight to Frankfurt. Now when I get to Frankfurt, catch another flight to London. Uh, just had a chat with the edit team, and uh, they're working on Asheville Weekly episode 84. At the same time in the yard, we're loading lorries. We're doing all the greasing, checking all the wheel nuts, the normal preparations for Monday. Summarize the last few days, been a great experience. Uh, got to know a lot of products a lot better and I learned a bit about the new technologies which are coming. I learned how much they're going to cost and when I left the UK I thought to myself, mm, a lot of this kit is going to be really expensive, how are we going to make any money with all of this? But you know, I learned how that equipment can actually help you as well to make more money. So yeah, definitely enjoyed the last few days, enjoyed the city. Um, hopefully I can continue to travel and work on content but also learn more about the industry that I'm in. I'm tired, man. <laughs> I'm tired, and I'm going to a boxing event um, this evening with my fellow boxing pundit, Dr. Tunde Okwale. Time to get moving. People are traveling and things are definitely back to normal. In the business lounge, Frankfurt, I'm seriously fading. What's handy about the business lounges and the business travel is actually that you have some peace and quiet and you have some space to think. Because ultimately, when I get off the plane, I am going to be working again. Uh, uh, I'm just thinking about a strategy for next week and it's so noisy out there it's hard to think it's hard to sit down and get any space but being able to sit in the lounge I was able to get something to eat uh, rehydrate uh, pull out my laptop do some work charge everything and then we'll be on the plane soon enough but of course the flight is delayed of course it is yeah so we're now in the airline's hands For the first time in a couple of days, I'm in the yard. Saturday afternoon, everyone seems to have gone but the video team. Spent a little bit of time here. And Wilson, you are lucky enough to be the man to drop me home, get change, back out, go into a box in a bit. While I was in Austria with Powerfinger, I noticed that they were doing some cool stuff with pallets. Uh, so straight away, I asked the boys to grab me a couple of pallets and put them in the yard. Let's have a look here at the picture of what we can do. And I think the first place we need one of those is up on my landing so I can possibly eat my lunch outside. Or it's gonna be one of them things I do for no apparent reason. I think it's a great idea and then I never use it and it was a waste of time. One of the two. And I've heard that my basketball net is up and I've grabbed hold of this ball, which Ara gave me, which is kind of flat. So if I'm not very good, then I can blame the ball, not my skills. I think I need to sweep the area. I'm a bit rusty. Let's try that again. Oh, for free. Now the whole point that I put this up is because I do need practice. And I've never played basketball in my life. I'm just emulating what I've seen Michael Jordan do when I don't have a clue what I'm doing. 
Okay, jump up. This isn't going very well, is it? <laughs> there we go. I'm getting better already. All right, well, I need some practice. <coughs> That's why the net's here. I'm not going to turn up to the basketball and get myself stitched up. Asheville, for free! Get in there, come on. The boxing pundits are back for another installment. And of course, you know, when I said he's the best dressed man I know, I will wait till I show you this outfit and I... <laughs> These flamboyant characters. We're gonna have something to eat quickly. We're starving. Both of us were working on the weekend like usual. Indeed. The main event ain't gonna be till about half nine, but we're ready for it. Craig Richards versus Boatsy. Neither man shook. Definitely gonna be a good fight and we're ready for it. Yeah, can't say who we're rooting for, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm not the answer to the winner. <laughs> That's it, the end of a very long week. Thankfully, everything has been completed. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm meant to go gym tomorrow morning, but I don't know if I'm able. Maybe I need some rest to make sure that I'm fresh for Monday and have a lot of work to catch up on. And that's it for Asheville Weekly, episode 85. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to see a Nashville video you may not have seen before. And click here for last week's episode, which was number 84.